Mr. Speaker, I don't trust what this government says about health care. In February 2020, the Premier announced cuts to six rural hospitals, yep. and then under pressure from communities, he backed off. This June, Horizon announced that the ER at the Sacramento Memorial Hospital would have reduced services on weekends for the summer. In September, these evening and overnight ER closures were extended indefinitely and became every single day. On Friday afternoon, residents in my riding were blindsided with an email announcing the closure of acute care beds. Instead of attacking six communities, it appears this government is carrying out the same plan just in Sackville. Is this a trial for other rural hospitals, Mr. Yeah. Speaker? Yeah. Where is the urgency to fix these problems? What is the Minister of Health's plan to return equitable health care to the residents of Memram Cook Tantramar through 24-7 emergency room and acute care services? The Honourable the Premier. Mr. Speaker, what we see in terms of uh, looking at the nurses and going through the contracts is they want more than just money, Mr. Speaker. They want to have a health system that's working. They want to have a lifestyle that they can have in their health care system so they can give the best care possible to the, to the residents. What Horizon has done here, Mr. Speaker, in Sackville is truly unfortunate but necessary. They looked at this. We're not making the decisions in relation to what opens, what doesn't. They're looking at how do they provide safe health care for residents. And Mr. Speaker, the decision of safe health care for residents was we, we can't staff this the way we should be. And so they make these decisions, Mr. Speaker, in the best interest of all New Brunswickers. And what we have to do here is recognize why do we need to make these decisions? Why has Horizon or Vitality come forward with changes? And what do we do to, to get it fixed, Mr. Speaker? It didn't happen overnight. It won't get fixed overnight. As the minister was talking about the changes in the hiring, there's more to it, Mr. Speaker. It's about managing and doing things differently, because we must, and we will continue to look at ways to do that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member for Member Cook, Mr. Speaker, I don't hear a clear plan to address the emergency in my riding. Mr. Speaker, last year the Premier categorically promised rural New Brunswickers that their emergency rooms would remain open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, when he backtracked on his failed health care reforms. My community tried to work with Horizon and the government, tried to help, and my community has been disrespected. It feels like any collaboration has been an attempt to carry out the same plans, just slowly. <coughs> The reduction in services at the Sackville ER is actually worse than the Premier's failed plan, Mr. Speaker, because that plan only closed the ER from midnight to 8 a.m. Currently, the ER is closed from 4 p.m. to 8 a.m. daily, and now Horizon has closed acute care beds, too. These moves go directly against the Premier's promise to residents in my riding. Mr. Speaker, why is he attacking rural New Brunswickers, and Mr. Speaker, why has he broken his word? Yeah. Yeah. Honourable yeah. Premier. Mr. Speaker, I know it's a, it's a difficult issue in, in the member's writing. I, I, don't, I don't dispute that at all, Mr. Speaker. But what I have to say is we we're relying, Mr. Speaker, on the health professionals to do what they must to ensure that health care services can be delivered. Not saying, well, we can do, we'll keep the doors open regardless of who's in there to serve someone when they arrive, Mr. Speaker, but make the decision of how they can treat patients and how they can actually provide a better service. And that's what they're doing. They're operating the system as best they can to ensure that health care services are good and effective when they're, when they're received. So we'll, we'll work with them, Mr. Speaker, and I Order encourage members. the members uh, opposite to do the same thing, because we must. We must work with our health professionals to find a way through this. It isn't about a political decision, Mr. Speaker. There are no political decisions involved in this. This is an operational decision to try to provide health care services to the province. And Mr. Speaker, we got to rely on the professionals to guide us through this, because none of us in here are health professionals, Mr. Speaker. So we're listening, and they're acting to make it safe for all of us.